How crazy has it been watching all these dudes from Dagestan oh my just God. invade MMA I knew it. and dominate? Tomorrow night, I'm going to smash your boy, guys. Everybody, everybody. I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. The UFC is home to the best MMA talent around the world. But few places in the world can boast of producing some of the best MMA fighters like the Republic of Dagestan. Dagestan is a republic of Russia and has over 3.1 million residents, including plenty of incredible fighters. From the legendary Habib Nurmagomedov to his protege Islam Mahachev, Dagestan has been a powerhouse in the UFC. These are the 10 times Dagestani fighters straight up humiliated their opponents in the UFC octagon. All right, kicking things off at number 10, we've got Habib Nurmagomedov. Habib is without a doubt the best fighter to come out of Dagestan, and his whole career is like a highlight reel. But let's talk about this one fight against Edson Barbosa, where he basically owned the show. So, going into the fight, everyone was like, how's Habib gonna handle Barbosa's crazy kicks? I mean, those kicks were like something out of a martial arts movie, knocking guys into another universe. But when UFC 219 rolled around in 2017, Barbosa threw those kicks, and guess what? Habib just shrugged them off like they were nothing. He walked right through them, landing punches and setting up his takedowns like it was a walk in the park. Once Habib got Barbosa on the ground, it was game over. He unleashed this flurry of punches and elbows, leaving Barbosa barely standing by the end of the first round. And Habib didn't let up. Round after round, he kept pounding on Barbosa, making it clear who was in charge. When the final bell rang, it was no surprise who took the win. Habib crushed it with a unanimous decision, just adding another chapter to his legacy as the Eagle. Coming in at number 9, we've got a showdown between Islam Mahachev and Charles Oliveira at UFC 280 in October 2022. This fight was as rare as they come because both fighters were on fire with double-digit win streaks when they collided, and it was all for the vacant lightweight title. Right from the get-go, Mahachev made it clear he's more than just a wrestler. He landed some solid hits on Oliveira in the first round, showing he's got some serious striking skills up his sleeve. And then he switched gears, showcasing his top-notch grappling game, making it clear Oliveira was in for a rough ride. But the real showstopper was the finish, and it came as Oliveira tried this flying knee move. But Mahachev was having none of it. He countered with a slick two-punch combo that sent Oliveira to the canvas. And without missing a beat, Mahachev locked in an arm triangle choke, forcing Oliveira to tap out embarrassingly. Talk about making a statement. This was supposed to be Mahachev's biggest challenge yet, but he made it look easy, snagging that title Habib Nurmagomedov left behind when he retired. That said, at number 8, Ikram Alaskarov earned his spot on the UFC roster by tearing it up on Dana White's Contender Series. But it was his debut fight at UFC 288 in a middleweight bout against Phil Hawes that really turned heads. Alaskarov came into the octagon with a solid 14-1 record. Now, when the bell rang, these two wasted no time. They were throwing down from the get-go, trading some serious blows. Alaskarov managed to catch Hawes with a nasty high kick, but Hawes shook it off like it was nothing and kept coming at him. But then Alaskarov unleashed this insane combo. He landed a jab followed by a monstrous right hand smack on the chin that turned Hawes' lights out. Down he went like a sack of potatoes. And just like that, in the first round, Alaskarov scored the knockout victory, making a huge statement in his UFC debut. And speaking of Dagestani fighters, the Normaga Madoff clan are absolute beasts in the fighting world, and this time at number 7, we've got Umar Normaga Madoff, the younger cousin of Habib. This Dagestani bantamweight has never known defeat in his pro career, and boy did he show why at UFC Vegas 67. Umar went up against UFC veteran Hayoni Barcelos in this one, and the fight started pretty even, with both guys sizing each other up with punches and kicks. Umar tries to get his wrestling game going, but Barcelos ain't having it. But then, in the final minute of the first round, everything changes as Umar lands this killer kick to the body, and before you know it, he finished Barcelos off. 
He clocked him with a crisp left hook right on the jaw, and Barcelos goes out cold before he even hits the mat. But Umar ain't taking no chances. He follows up with a straight shot just to make sure. Talk about an embarrassing knockout. Damn. But as crazy as that, at number six, we got the first time the UFC world got a real taste of the eagle himself, Habib Nurmagomedov. January 2013, and Habib was set to take on Tiago Tavares. Now, Habib isn't just looking to win, he's looking to make a statement. This showdown took place in Sao Paulo, Brazil, where the crowd was all pumped up for their hometown hero, Tavares. But Habib was not phased, and even at the weigh-in, he showed up wearing a tee with the cheeky slogan, if Sambo was crazy, it'd be called Jiu-Jitsu. You can imagine how that went down with the Brazilian fans. But when the bell rings, Habib's all business. Just two minutes into the fight, after a bit of a feel-out period, he lands this massive left uppercut that sends Tavares crashing to the canvas. From there, it's like watching a lamb being led to slaughter. Habib rains down elbows, and it's clear Tavares doesn't stand a chance. The crowd was stunned into silence partly in horror at seeing their favorite fighter taken down so brutally, and partly because of Habib's skill. And in that moment, there's no denying it, Habib Nurmagomedov is the real deal. That said, while MMA is a sport where fans can expect drawn out five rounders, while others end in the blink of an eye. And this time, it was Islam Mahachev finishing off his opponent in just under one minute. See, back in 2018, at UFC 220, Islam Mahachev went up against Glacian Chibau. Now, here's the interesting bit. Chibau had already faced off against another Dagestani fighter, none other than Habib, and lost via unanimous decision. So there was already a bit of history there. Plus, both Mahachev and Chibau were coming off lengthy breaks from fighting. Mahachev hadn't been in the cage for almost a year, while Chibau's hiatus stretched over two years. But as soon as that bell rang, Mahachev wasted no time. I mean, none at all. In literally his first punch of the fight, he landed this perfect left hand right on Chibao's chin that knocked him out cold. It took Mahachev just 57 seconds to wrap up the whole thing. Quickest finish of his UFC career, no doubt about it. But as crazy as that was at number four, we gotta talk about another epic showdown featuring Habib Nurmagomedov and this time against Dustin Poirier at UFC 242. Heading into this fight, Dustin Poirier was riding high on confidence. With four straight wins over some former champions like Anthony Pettis, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gaethje, and Max Holloway, with three of those wins coming by way of stoppage. Meanwhile, Habib was still basking in the glory of his biggest win yet, submitting his rival, Conor McGregor, which basically catapulted him into superstardom. Now, when the bell rang, Habib wasted no time doing what he does best, taking control of the fight with his insane grappling skills. Poirier looked like he was swimming against the current, trying to fend off Habib's relentless pressure. In fact, he even told his corner, I can't get him off me. But here's where things get interesting. In the third round, just when it seemed like Habib was going for another takedown, Poirier pulls off this perfect guillotine choke out of nowhere, and it had everyone on the edge of their seats. Their choke lasted over 30 seconds, surprising everyone, but Habib somehow managed to slip his head out of it and then proceeded to drag Poirier back down to the mat where he ended up choking out Poirier for the win. I mean, talk about domination. Not only did he take down a champion who had bested other champions, but he did it in style and looked just like another day in the office for the legend. But at number three, we've got Magomed Ankalaev, who's no stranger to jaw-dropping finishes in the UFC. But let's talk about one of the most embarrassing stoppages in his career, which went down at UFC 254 in October 2020, when he faced off against Iwan Kutalava in their light heavyweight rematch. Now, Ankalaev and Kutalava had some unfinished business after their first meeting at UFC Norfolk, which ended in a bizarre TKO victory for Ankalaev in just 38 seconds. Kutalava kind of played possum, and the ref called the fight, sparking a ton of controversy. So, of course, a rematch was in order, and it happened at UFC 254. This time around, Kutalava came out swinging, determined to make a statement. But Ankalaev stayed cool, biding his time. And when he found his opening, boy, did he make it count. 
A slick one-two punch combo dropped Kutalaba like a sack of bricks, and from there, it was lights out. Ankalaev left Kutalava out cold and brought their heated rivalry to a brutal and, let's be honest, embarrassing end. At number two, we've got a moment that rocked the UFC world. Islam Mahachev's knockout victory over Alexander Volkanovsky at UFC 294. Now, Mahachev has always been seen as the heir to Habib Nurmagomedov's throne, but after this fight, some folks were saying he might just be even better. Heading into the bout, a lot of fans were backing Volkanovski, the UFC featherweight champ, especially after their first fight at UFC 284, which ended in a controversial decision. But this time around at UFC 294, it was all about Mahachev. Right from the start, Mahachev was throwing head kicks, and wouldn't you know it, one of those kicks slipped past Volkanovski's guard and sent him crashing to the canvas. A few hammer fists from Mahachev sealed the deal for the second time and put an end to their rivalry once and for all. It was one of the craziest finishes of 2023, and a seriously embarrassing moment for Volkanovski. But at number one, we've got the showdown that shook the MMA world to its core. Conor McGregor vs. Habib Nurmagomedov. Now, this fight needs no introduction. It was like the Clash of the Titans, years in the making, fueled by months of vicious trash talk, especially from McGregor. So, they finally squared off at UFC 229, and let me tell you, it was a spectacle. The highest selling pay-per-view in UFC history, with the biggest MMA crowd ever cheering them on. And from the get-go, Habib showed why he's one of the best. He dominated McGregor, plain and simple. McGregor looked like he was hanging on by a thread, barely able to keep up. But it was in round four when Habib really put the nail in the coffin. He took McGregor down to the mat once again and clinched in a neck crank that left McGregor tapping out embarrassingly and helplessly. But Habib wasn't done yet. Oh no, he jumped over the cage, taking the fight outside the octagon and into McGregor's corner, creating a post-fight scene straight out of a movie. In every aspect of MMA, McGregor got destroyed right in front of the biggest crowd ever. McGregor might talk the talk, but when it came down to it, Habib walked the walk. Which of these losses do you think is the most embarrassing? Let us know in the comment section below, and remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more UFC content.